Hello guys, the DB Grinder here, back at it again with another video, and this time we have Nithana versus Elastic, and this is going to be a post pod video, and with that being said, let's hop right in, we're going to see Nathan win the rock, paper, scissors shoot, and they're going to go ahead and go first, 40 versus 40, gotta love to see it, opening hands, we have Duke Frog called by Blue, DD Crow Prosperity, they have Circular, Parallel, Subtraction, Silent Mining, and Gamma, so they're going to activate Prosperity, Prosperity, go banish 6, and that goes through and then look at the top six and then we're gonna grab diva there we can also see plague spreader in the deck put all those back to the bottom and then after that normal summon deep sea diva effect in response chain gamma yeah it's like if diva resolves and doesn't get hit with gamma it is insane but if you get hit with gamma it can be turn ending, so it's like, is it worth the risk reward, especially when you have called by to hit the other hand traps? No, that was not worth it. Pass turn, they draw Nabla. Um, I guess you could, because what else did Prosperity hit? Ash, Ogre, Blue, Carrot, yeah, yeah, yeah definitely played bad, definitely played bad. Um, you could have grabbed Carrot if you wanted to, like normal summon dupe. Normal or special summon now, blue, blue effect. If they gamma, cool, carrot. Uh, they won't gamma though, because they're going to be afraid of Gigantic with the carrot. So, you know, just misplayed. Uh, circular, dumb sigma, special summon out. Circular is stupid. The rest of the deck, uh, I'd say the trap is stupid and circular is stupid. I'm going to call by that. Sign of mining, get rid of Nabla, and then go search. So, we're going to go search diameter. Normal summon diameter, diameter 1, circular 2, chain DD Crow, so they're going to go search equation. So I think they're going to try to actually end the game here. They're going to use the effect, but they didn't even need equation to end the game though, right? Um, no, they already had enough bodies because you... Okay, like imagine equation is just a trap card, right? And, and all we need is parallel plus this because we contribute, summon back up from graveyard, turn it into disciple, summon out parallel, summon out parallel... Um, I mean, we like spo you, you. You could even just like splash mage summon back from grave at that point and make the uh, jammer transcode access code game. Because right now only one monster can attack, and access code would be able to attack twice with fifty three for game. Addition target. So like that was just one route, right? I'm not saying that's the correct route, but it is a route. Now we're going to summon out Parallel, Parallel Effect, they admit defeat. Moving on to the next game, we are going to see them go first. Opening hands, we have Blue, Phantasme, DD Crow, Starter, Prosperity, Phantasme. I thought about this for like a split second. You know, you got to every single format. Splite summons Gigantic, which makes it so that way you can't activate this. Tier Element doesn't summon Link's turn one most of the time. That's all I need to hear. Um... Blue, Phantasme, Crow, Starter, Prosperity. They have Subtraction, Parallel, Crow, Dark Ruler, Subtraction. So activate Prosperity, go Banish. We will go Banish 3 this time. Appalooza, Hulk, Access Code. We play Appalooza. Grab back Talents. Put the other two Phantasme to the bottom of the deck. Not much of a choice there. Um, activate Starter. Starter Summon. There's a good chance the opponent won't even try to DD Crow now. Because then they get it with Talons, and you can rip Dark Ruler. Uh, Jet, go search Starter. And then Special Summon Blue. Blue Effect. Yeah, searching uh, searching Smashers is like incorrect most of the time when you can get Starter, which is also an interruption, but also could be a, you know, if you get completely stopped, it's a Starter. <laughs> effect, go search Red. Special Summon Red. Overlay, go for Gigantic. Okay, so this, like, the red doesn't actually do anything because they have, like, a Veiler on this, and you chain red to tribute this to negate Veiler, then this still doesn't resolve. Looks like it needs to attach for effect, not cost. Summon Swap Frog. Swap Frog effect, go dump. That's going to dump Swap. Link off in the Elf. Elf effect, summon back out. Yeah, they're going to, you know, be okay with that. Um, if you read this, this says negate effect, not activation too. So like if they did negate DD Crow with this, um, they could still Talons. Now Swap Frog effect, go down Running Toten. Uh, banish Swap Frog, summon out Running Toten. And then overlay those for a totally awesome. Set starter, pass turn, they draw Imperm. 
Uh, they're going to activate Toad during the standby phase. So Toad goes summon out Dupe Frog. Main phase, Dark Ruler. After that resolves, activate Starter. So Starter, bring out Carrot. Um, lose 1,000. They could Imperm on Carrot if they want to. They choose not to because this only negates spell traps. They're going to target Elf, make it lose 1,000, summon uh, Link off into a Lingaribo, activate Parallel Effect, summon out Parallel, summon out Parallel from deck, and we don't drop Phantasmia there either. Uh, we can't because we use Starter, so we can't activate Phantasmia this turn. So that's something. Go for Cyber's Wicked, go for Link Disciple. Cyber Wicked effect. We're going to try to Phantasmia, but we can't. And the opponent lets it go through. Unfortunate. So, you know, accidentally cheating here. They're going to search the diameter off of this. And then summon diameter effect target. We're going to Crow. Get rid of those. Go for Splash Mage. Splash Mage effect. Target diameter. And then in response, you're going to Crow it. Now go for transcode, transcode effect, summon back out the Cyber's Wicked, and then make access code, access code effect again attack. We have a dark, a light, a water, and earth. So we have four pops here. So yeah, we're just gonna go maybe one at a time, but okay. I mean, you know, just in the order. Now you're gonna get toad effect to add back. Yep. So toad put back. Toad. I always felt like that was a bad play. It just doesn't do anything. Uh, beat over dupe. Dupe effect to add. Like, if you truly think that having another Toad is that important, it probably should just already be in your extra deck. Like, sometimes you would Toad add back Toad, but... I'm gonna DD Crow the Ronin Toad in. Now to play around Talons. Set Imperm Pass, draw DD Crow. Activate Prosperity. And then Prosperity go banish, so we're going to banish three, look at the top three, hit Ash Blossom, blue, Prosperity, grabs blue, bottom of deck, and then Summon Swap Frog, no effect of it, Summon blue, and then blue effect to go search, so blue, go search out Jet, and then Special Summon Jet, Jet effect, I was going to say if you imperm, but you could just imperm blue. Um, they do have Phantasmi though, that could negate. They're going to search Smashers, turn those into Elf, and they admit defeat. So, moving on into the next game now, we're going to go ahead and we're going to see the opponent go first. Opening hands. I mean, they did get rid of Unicorn Access Code. They do have Smashers, though, to out the Access Code. They have Jet, Towns, Carrot, Phantasmia, Diva. They have Anti-Spell, Subtraction, Ash, Addition, Subtraction. It's a normal summon, Addition Effect. I mean, they would have won that game if they just, like, you know, didn't let their opponent cheat. Uh, special Summon, well, they would have had a higher chance. I don't want to say they would have won for sure. Effect, Detach, go search for a Math Mech card, go grab Circular, and then Circular Effect, Dump Sigma, Special Out, and then we're going to go Sigma Effect to Summon, uh, Circular Effect, go search Purple card, the Super Fractoral, uh, Link Off into Disciple, Link Off into Devote, and then they're going to go, you know, Devote 1, Phantasme 2. And then they're going to go Ash 3. Disciple, Tribute Devote. Draw on the Sign at Mining. And then put back Sign at Mining. Devote effect. Bring out the tokens. So, token, token. Uh, make the Cyber's Wicked. And then make Lingaribo. Cyber's Wicked effect. Banish to go search Diameter. Or Nabla, okay, or Nabla. Uh, effect, Tribute, Lingaribo, and then Special Summon out, Nabla. Nabla, Tribute, I was going to say Tribute the Albert Einstein to Summon out Diameter. But I guess it's, I was going to say, I guess it's just the same thing here. Go for IP, and then set the purples, pass to draw Phantasme. Flip Anti-Spell during draw phase. Normal Deep Sea Diva. Deep Sea Diva effect. It's a chain IP. 
Maybe they're planning on going in the unicorn here. Oh, this is actually never mind. I was gonna say because they could unicorn super fractoral rip the other diva, and that'd be like a way to like play around droplet, but the anti spells there. So I was gonna say I wouldn't really be playing around droplet anyways. They still get absolutely destroyed. They're gonna special summon carrot. Carrot does beat this, so they would have to unicorn carrot now. And like, oh, that's so bad for the opponent. Unicorn that. They still have level 2 on board to keep extending. Summon out Jet. Jet effect to go search. They're going to chain IP in response. Okay. You're going to make, oh my god, this card's overhyped. It's not that good. It's mediocre. The Splite, it's not even like good against. I was going to say, Splite has so many outs to this. Now they're gonna activate Phantasme, summon, draw Phantasme Diva, put back Phantasme. Overlay, go for Sky Calvary, enter the battle phase. Okay, they're gonna Sky Calvary, attack Avermax, Sky Effect, bounce. Yup. <laughs> Outed, they don't get the spin because it's put back to extra deck. Go for Elf. Elf effect to summon back out from grave. Bring out the diva. Overlay those and the gigantic. Gigantic effect. That goes through. Detach, go summon swap. Swap effect, go down Moronin Toten. And then swap frog effect, bounce itself to hand, get rid of diva, summon out swap. Swap effect to go dump. So swap's gonna go dump swap. Anything on res? Nope. Banish swap frog, summon out Ronin Toten. And then we're going to overlay those, make the toad, set, set. So now we have carrot, which can stop our opponent's super fractoral that we know is set. We have double toad, phantasma. These cards don't do anything because anti-spell for the time being, but they will in the future. These could very well be used to crack a board. Draw ash blossom. Um, I think they meant to say standby phase, and they just said GG's. GG, that hard draw carrot got me. Alright, so we see Splite win there, Mathmech lose. The match was only 24 minutes long. It's a pretty quick match. And with all of that being said, the DB Grinder signing off. Peace. Have a nice day. Stay safe.